हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फिजिक्स प्रैक्टिकल कोर्स ओके सेमेस्टर वन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लैब ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द वन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज अ क्रिस्टल ऑसोलेटर सो वेयर इट इज एक्चुअली यूज द क्रिस्टल ऑसोलेटर्स वेर एवर देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द वेरी हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल जनरेशन फॉर द लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ द टाइम as well as uh, at a uh, certain particular temperature ranges uh, there we can use uh, such a type of the crystal oscillators right so now uh, actually uh, there are many applications uh, uh, such as the uh, radio in uh, radio communications or the uh, in which what happens that we are uh, shooting very far away from the some source right at the uh, receiving end and uh, some transmitting station is placed at uh, some other places so what we can uh, hear so the carrier frequency will be carried by the electromagnetic waves and will be at the receiving stage and will receive our our, our uh, uh, instrument or the radio will receive the, that frequency and we can try to tune that uh, frequency with uh, the uh, transmitted frequency and uh, we can uh, just get the information contained in the uh, carrier wave so how generally it is uh, uh used uh, or how it is getting generated uh, something like uh, uh, some uh, very simple principle is used inside that uh, right as we know that the uh, well known um, thing uh, about the uh, vibration generation or the frequency generator is something like a piezoelectric crystals right so what is the basic principle behind the this piezoelectric crystals is something like uh, when we try to apply the uh, pressure across it or uh, pressure across it or the force across the uh, crystals then on the opposite uh, end uh, the potential will be uh, developed uh, okay so this is because of the vibrations will be generated within it uh, okay and uh, due to this pressure element the potential will be developed across the opposite end of that uh, particular crystal so the, this simple principle is used uh, in case of the oscillator by using the electronic uh, circuitry okay now uh, here Uh, what we can have uh, this is uh, something like a uh, uh, schematic arrangement for uh, the or the circuit diagram of, uh, for the crystal oscillator by using the nand gates right so nand gates uh, what we can have here uh, the uh, uh, what we can say is the this is the schematic uh, representation for it and the some uh, wire connections are there so when we will try to understand the particular uh this segment on the board circuit board then we will see the how it is getting uh, connected one right on the other hand or else we can have the uh, nand gate uh, uh, ic that is ic7400 and uh, its uh, schematic representation on the other hand the similar kind of the principle also can um, uh, or the similar kind of the frequency can be generated by using the uh, crystal okay and uh, the transistor uh, uh, kind of the Uh, electronic circuitry is right so what we can have here the lc circuitry is used here to generate the a high frequency as we know that the uh, frequency of the oscillations we, when we are having the l and c are in the circuitry that is uh, nothing but the 1 over uh, square root of lc 1 over 2 pi uh, into uh, square root of l into c gives us the frequency of that oscillation right so now what happens that uh, here Uh, when we try to apply the potential uh, to the piezoelectric crystals so what will happen uh, there will be the it starts vibrating uh, you know, the uh, material uh, vibrates about uh, with a certain frequency right as we try to um, uh, change the uh, potential applied or the voltage applied across it then what will happen uh, so, uh, this uh, change of the voltage can be tuned by this uh, variable resistance Uh, so when we will try to change this frequency uh, sorry uh, voltage applied across this uh, crystal and then what will happen it starts vibrating about uh, okay and that uh, with uh, some constant frequency when the supplied uh, potential and it's uh, uh, obviously that one part uh, th this crystal having its own natural frequency of the oscillation okay it has its own natural fixed uh, uh, frequency of the oscillation when the supplied potential is a sufficient to vibrate that crystal uh, uh, with its natural frequency 
then we can get the maximum oscillations of that uh, uh, particular uh, crystal. So, now uh, if you just try to look at this uh, 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 circuitry, what we can hear is uh, something like a transistor symmetry, uh, transistor is there right, it is some bias with uh, some potential over here right. So, the forget about this part and the what we can have this is something like the transistor biasing right. Now, but uh, this uh, is again uh, uh, circuitry is used uh, again the what we can say the collector is again connected to, uh, to the base of it. So, uh, it is acting as a positive feedback for it ok, it is acting as a positive. Similarly, earlier had also the positive feedback because this um, it is uh, connected in the uh, some kind of the NAND gates and the positive feedback is given to the crystal ok or you we can uh, see over here that the positive or feedback is given to the crystal and some uh, terminals are connected or nearby it ok. So, now this positive feedback acts as so uh, the uh, transistor will try to generate its own frequency and this uh, positive feedback uh, through the crystals how the posi positive feedback uh, will uh, uh, have the its own frequency. If this both the frequency gets uh, matched then obviously, uh, we will get the uh, maximum frequency of the uh, oscillation. So, what we can have? So, that uh, natural frequency of the oscillation uh, will result us into the uh, resonance phenomena and that uh, resonance phenomena will give us the constant frequency of the oscillation with its um, uh, maximum uh, amplitude ok. Now, uh, there are uh, certain materials which shows uh, such a kind of a piezoelectric crystals in nature actually there are only three uh, and which are they uh, that uh, they are the uh, tourmaline, Rochelle and the quartz. So, these three crystals uh, show this piezoelectric uh, effect right. So, now uh, this crystal oscillators can be studied by using the two methods the one one is the by using the NAND gates ok and the other is with the uh, transistor properties. So, let us try to uh, look into the uh, uh, circuit boards how it looks and the how connections can be made. Now, here is the actual uh, circuit uh, for the crystal oscillator ok. Now, you can see over here ok. So, what it is uh, power supply is there then the circuit for the transistor uh, crystal oscillator ok crystal oscillator using the transistor. Okay. So, the there are some connections are there I will try just try to disconnect the things and again reconnect for all of you ok. Uh, so, so that we can get the uh, idea about it ok and uh, here in this uh, crystal oscillator uh, all the output is uh, 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 taken on the CRO that is a uh, uh, cathode ray oscilloscope ok. So, now uh, here uh, let us see this is circuit ray for it this is for the by using the NAND gates and this is for by using the uh, transistor. So, we will go uh, one by uh, one ok. So, uh, what are the connections over here ok. See now the connections I am just trying to uh, look into it by using I will just try to connect the circuitry by using uh, this uh, circuit diagram ok. So, what it is for when we are trying to connect the circuitry you must first of all connect the uh, positive to the positive and ground to the uh, ground. So, make the uh, ground to be the grounded. So, I am just making the ground first ok. So, the ground is connected over here and on the other hand the output on the CROs. So, ground is connected first of all and then the positive supply is connected ok. So, the 9 volt DC power supply is required here. So, the uh, power supply is separately connected. So, here the 9 volt is connected over here it is shown over here even from our circuit diagram as well. So, on then what we can have uh, this variable resistance and the crystal are connected together and that is also connected to the base of the uh, transistor. So, so, I am making this connection here and he this as well. So, I just make these connections ok. So, make this as well and uh, this connection base of the base of the uh, sorry uh, base is connected to the crystal one side of the crystal 
and the other to the uh, variable resistance where we can uh, change the potential applied across it and the other terminals of this uh, variable resistance and the they are connected uh, to the collector okay so i just make them uh, to the collector side here and and yeah this is the case and output will be taken on the CRO. So, these are the uh, this is the ground wire and this is the positive wire. So, I am just of the CRO. So, I am just trying to connect the uh, positive to the output of the uh, uh, transistor. Okay. So, yeah this is something like okay we are done with the uh, uh, kind of the connections for it and let us how the look over uh, the circuitry. So, here it shows the uh, circuitry is on right. So, the lights are glowing on okay. LEDs are turned on and but uh, if you look at the CRO uh, then nothing we can see over here right. Right now we cannot see anything here because it is turned off. Now, I am just trying to make it turn on. So, for the CRO all these connections what we can see over here are uh, just all the pins are un unpressed okay all the pins are unpressed and uh, just trying to uh, show you and this is a single channel i have just selected we can have the both as well but i have just uh, selected the single one now i'll just try to change the potential applied to it okay suddenly yeah you can see now i am just trying to see i am trying to uh, change the potential applied across it and how suddenly the views get disappeared. I am just making the potential applied to it is okay. This signal is go growing up, up, and suddenly, right. So now you can see the potential is applied, and uh, see the view is getting increased, amplitude is getting increased, and get saturated at certain point, it is getting decreased as well. So, what we can have? We must have the this is a sine view. Right. Now, to get this signal what we can have we must understand that the functioning of this time per division knob okay, as well as uh, uh, this voltage per division this will give us the uh, shape of the or amplitude can be uh, just a, a scale of the amplitude can be magnified or the demagnified. Okay. So, this is uh, uh, just changing the resolution of the uh, signal. Okay. Now, Right. Even if I just uh, uh, change the time per division, what we can have? We are not able to uh, see the uh, uh, wave clearly. So, that wave should be easily uh, 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 observable right? and we must understand the uh, how much its frequency. Now, how to measure the frequency of the sine wave? Just try to measure the uh, distance between the uh, two successive maximas, okay? distance between the two maximas. Its scale can be varied by using this x position. Okay, x position of I am just trying to make it at the uh, vertical axis. And okay, how many division from the peak to peak? This is one division, right? So that one division is there. So and how much is the resolution for the corresponding to it? This is something like a 0 0.5 microsecond. Okay, 0 0.5 microsecond. And how many divisions are there here? One. So, uh, how much is the frequency? This multiplied by this is the ta uh, time period we, we have calculated. So, 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into the 1. So, that is a 0.5 and uh, the what is the corresponding scale bar is a microsecond. So, the time period is how much for this? I am just trying to write down here the time period uh, is equal to 0 0.5 into 1 scale bar, right? Uh, 1 division. So, this is into the microseconds, right. So, what is the frequency? Frequency is 1 over t is 1 over 0 0.5 microsecond. So, this will give us the 2.0 megahertz as its frequency or as 2 into 10 raise to 6 hertz as its frequency of the oscillation. Okay. And uh, on the other hand, how to measure its peak to peak? Uh, voltage peak to peak amplitude that is okay y position will vary its uh, length over the y axis or vertical axis okay so how many divisions on the uh, 
this arrow are there 1 2 3 and the 3.2 3.2 into the resolution on this is how much 2 so what is the uh, amplitude amplitude we can have this is v p p is equal to uh, 3.4 into 2 volt okay so volt is here so what you can have uh, so the total vpp is 6.8 volt okay so this is a corresponding frequency for and uh, its uh, amplitude okay so the what will be your result frequency of the oscillation of the crystal oscillator is 2 megahertz uh, 2 megahertz with uh, oscillation amplitude is uh, uh, or oscillation amplitude peak to peak amplitude is 6.8 volt so this is what we are expecting from this uh, experiment okay okay now uh, uh, the other experiment other part of the experiment is uh, to have the uh, crystal oscillator by using the nand gates so i'll just try to make the connections i have just made it the uh, uh, ground and the plus VCC connections over here. Now uh, you can see over here or the this is a crystal oscillator by using the uh, logic gates. Okay, so I will try to make the connections as per the our uh, circuit diagram. Either you can follow this diagram or else you can follow this one. Okay, so I will just uh, try to make the connections according to it. So in that uh, diagram, what is uh, the connection? I start from the first terminal that is 1 and 2 are common ok, 1 and 2 are common and it is given to the uh, one side of the crystal ok, one side of the crystal 1 and 2 are common it is given to the one side of the crystal ok, so one side of the uh, crystal also the another uh, terminal is going from that uh, towards the uh, uh, R2 ok, so the another resistance, so I will uh, take the one more wire here and it is connected to the one is to the uh, R2 side of the resistor and it is one side of the, the other terminal goes to the uh, here, so the one side of the crystal. Then uh, R2 is connected, R2 is connected to the tenth terminal. Okay, R2 this is connected to the uh, 10th uh, terminal okay. so or 10th pin you can say where it is yeah here it is 10th is here and then uh, 10th terminal this part is done uh, then uh, the other terminal of the crystal r2 uh, other terminal of the crystal is going to the r1 and r1 is going towards the uh, other end of the r1 is connected to the six number pin okay so it is connected to the six number pin is here then 4 5 are common okay 4 5 are common wire gap 4, 5 are common, so I just make them common and it is connected to the 3 number terminal, it is connected to 4, 5 is common, so I just make this short okay. and it is connected to the third number terminal. Third number terminal and uh, 9 number terminal is uh, connected to the plus ok. So, the 9 number terminal is uh, connected to the plus VCC. So, I just make it uh, 0.5 sorry 5 volt is connected to the 9 number terminal and then apart from this plus uh, 14 now uh, 14 is connected to the plus VCC and uh, 7 is connected to the uh, IC the, these are connections are for the uh, uh, turn on the IC ok for the IC and this is for the external to make the uh, 
make it uh, happen crystal oscillation and then the uh, 8 number is connected to the output with respect to the ground. So, the output is always measured with respect to the ground. So, the 8 number terminal is connected to the output. So, I just make the output the 8 terminal and ok be there what we can have. So, this is something like the circuit we can see over here the circuit uh, with the connections. Now, I am going to uh, turn on the uh, circuit. Okay, it is turned on and no terminal was missing that is nothing but the 5 to 10, 5 to 10 was uh, internally I mean that has to be internally connected, but uh, so I am just making this short 5 to 10 and uh, you would get the surprise on the CRO that suddenly what we can have even if you miss the one say uh, one connections you will not get the signal on the CRO. So, you have to be very careful while uh, doing the connections over here. So, now you can see the some surprising thing on the CRO ok. So, this is connections and yeah this is output corresponding to it getting it. So, Again we can measure now even if you just try to uh, vary the uh, time per division knob you can have the uh, its uh, shape will get changed. So, uh, this is some distortion coming uh, from the DC components uh, which are used uh, that distortion we cannot neglect it and we can measure its uh, uh, frequency make it here and this is a complete uh, square view right. So, it will start from here and it ends with so, this on time and this off time. So, uh, if we just try to make the peak to peak distance measurement that is a division is 1 on the x axis and uh, corresponding div uh, time division is uh, 0.5 microsecond per division. So, 0.5 into <coughs> 1 that is 0.5 microsecond 1 division. So, 0.5 microsecond that is time period and if we inverse of that time period will give us the frequency that is nothing but the uh, 1 point uh, sorry 2 megahertz or 2 into 10 raised to 6 hertz and that becomes a uh, 2 megahertz and similarly uh, similarly we can measure the peak to peak uh, potent, uh, sorry its amplitude and that is coming from uh, this point. So, just try to make it happen here. So, how many divisions are there 1 2 2 point uh, 4 are there ok 2 point 4 or 2.6 sorry 2.6 into here uh, 2 or else I forgot how much it is I just try to make the arrangement. So, the, if this is 2.4 into 2 how much it is that becomes a uh, 2.4 into 2 that is 4.8 peak to peak amplitude ok. This will be your result for the uh, crystal oscillator by using the NAND gate.